Okay, so um, this will be the last video for our chapter 5 integration already. And then um, this last video, we are going to discuss the definite integral that are uh, using the integration by part. All right, so in the previous video, we already discussed uh, one of the example, how to do the definite integral for integration by part. Okay, so uh, my suggestion is you can actually apply the integration by part until the end, after you get a final answer, then only you substitute the limit in. Okay, so for this example, maybe I will show you how I substitute the limits uh, uh, when I already get part of my answer. It will be slightly different from what I showed you in the previous video, but generally the concepts are the same. Okay, All right, so let's have a look for example 22 part A. Okay, so if let's say you already go through with the previous video and you found that oh, you are quite familiar with the details and steps already, of course you can pause the video first. Try out the try out and see whether you can get an answer or not before you go through with this video again. Alright. Okay, so I will start with part A straight away. Okay, so for part A, they want you to find again, highlight the word exact value. So the word exact tells you that your final answer should be in either long form, third form, but it shouldn't be in the decimal place number. Alright. Okay. So find the exact value for this equation. Okay, so before I start, I will just have a look here. So x x is algebraic function, so a, and then e is, is exponential function, so which is e. Alright, so according to our LATE rule, the late rule here, um, generally the higher one will be the algebraic function, so you let u equals to x, you let dv equals to e to x dx. So this part I want to do the integration, therefore I just put the integration sign. Alright, so differentiate du, with respect to x, the, uh, differentiate u with respect to x, you have a 1. Integrate this, you get a v. Integrate e power 2x, you have e power 2x divided by the differentiation of the power, you get a 2. So you put a 2 here. Alright, so this is what I have for part A for now. Okay, then because of, I know that my limit here is 0 until 1, right? So, okay, let's have a look here. I will start to apply the formula. Okay, so from 0 until 1, x e power 2 x dx. Okay, so my formula is u v, right? So u is x, v is e 2 x divided by 2. Okay, and because I know that this is already part of my answer, therefore I will just keep it as the limit 0 and 1. Okay, then minus integration from 0 until 1, v du. So what's my v here? So my v is 2x over 2. du, you can look at it from here, it is equal to dx. Alright? Okay, so now there are a few options for you. So for now, you, if you want, you can straight away substitute the limit for this part already before you integrate this. Another option is you can continue with the integration until you get everything integrated, then only you substitute in the value, substitute in the limit also can. Alright, so for here, for this example, I will just show you um, that I substitute the limit first. Huh? Okay, so for this one, I will take out the half. Okay, so after I take out the half, half is a constant, right? So I don't want to make my step look very complicated. Usually, I prefer to take out all the constant first. So I will take out the half first. And after that, I'm having x e to x. Substitute 1 into the equation here. x is 1. e power 2, x become e power 2, right? Okay, then 0, when you substitute it inside, uh, you'll get a 0 here, right? So the whole thing becomes 0. So that's why for the first part of the answer, you're having half e squared only. Okay, then minus, for this part, half is a constant again, I will take it out. So I will just focus on integrating the e power 2x. So integrate e power 2x, you get the same thing, e power 2x, divided by the differentiation of the power, differentiate 2x, you get a 2, so you divide it by 2. And after that, you put the limit in. Okay? Alright, so for the first part of my answer, I'm having half e squared already. This part, again, I will take out a constant before I substitute in the value. Alright, so substitute in the 1, I'm having e power 2. Substitute in the 0, I'm having e power 0. Okay, so please take note that a lot of students, they will always do the careless mistake here. e power 0 is not a 0. E power 0 is a 1 actually. So some students, are, they are very careless, they are straight away ignored. They thought that it is a 0, but actually it is not. Okay, so E power 0 is a 1. So I just want to remind you here that 
this is not a zero huh? okay after that you try to simplify everything so you're having half e square minus 1 over 4 e square then plus 1 over 4 so you treat e square as an apple so you're having half apples minus 1 over 4 apples so end up you will have 1 over 4 apples so 1 over 4 apples plus 1 over 4 so you can keep your answer like this Alright, so please take note that if, let's say, you're having definite integral, your final answer shouldn't have any constant. Uh, sorry, not that you should, shouldn't should have any plus C. Alright, so you get only a complete value. Alright, so 1 over 4 e squared plus 1 over 4, it will be your exact value for this question. Alright, so you can see that for this example, actually I substitute the limit before I apply the integration at the second part of the answer. So you can do it in this way. Or you can complete the whole integration first, then only you straight away apply or substitute in the limit also can. So the answer should be the same actually. Alright. Okay, then again, we can continue with part number C. So uh, for those who want to try, you can pause the video again and try first before you look at the final answer. Uh, the final answer is here already. Yeah. So maybe if you can get an answer, then this congratulations, you managed to understand the details here. Okay, so let us start with this part number C. Okay, so part number C, you're having 4x. Okay, so 4x, I will treat as A, algebraic function, and then ln, ln is L. Okay, so according to our rules, uh, L, A, T, E rule, L is higher than A, right? So the higher one, the higher function will be the U. So U equals to ln x. And after that, my dV, I will write as 4x dx. So one part I want to do differentiation, another one I want to do integration. Therefore, I put the integration sign. Okay, so differentiate u with respect to x. So you're having du over dx, which is equal to 1 over x. Okay, so for here, if you want to make it in detail, so your du is equal to 1 over x dx. All right, then for this part, you have v. v equals to 1. Integrate for x squared, you should have or x squared divided by 2 and add up your v squared is 2x, oh sorry, your v is 2x squared. Okay, so once you complete the very first step, one part you do the differentiation, one part you do the integration already, then you can start to uh, apply everything in your integration, the main idea of integration. So 2 until 4, you're having 4x log x. Okay, so your formula is uv, so u is ln x, so ln x multiply with v, which is 2x squared, and then you want to substitute in the limit, which is 4 and also 2, minus v du, so your v is 2x squared, du from here is 1 over x dx, so again the limit is still the same from 2 and Okay, so again, for me, myself, I also substitute the value in here. 4, substitute in, you're having 4. 4 squared becomes 16. 16 times 2, you get 32. So you're having 32 ln 4. Okay, then minus, substitute in the 2. 2 power 2 power, uh, 2 power 2 multiplied with 2, you get an 8. Uh, so you're having 8 ln 2 here. Okay, then minus, for this part, I'm going to take out the square 2 which is a constant, and after that, I simplify the thing inside here, I'm having the x. Alright, so if I continue with the integration for this part. Okay, so integrate x, you get x squared divided by 2, simplify with the 2 outside, so you are having x squared here. So what you need to do is I have to substitute the limit 4 and 2. Okay, so 32 ln 4 minus 8 ln 2. Okay, so minus 4 square is a 16, 2 square is a 4. Alright, so if you look at this answer here, they actually want you to express everything like this are in ln 2. Okay, so maybe what I want to mention, emphasize is ln 2, 56 ln 2 minus 12. If you look at our answer again, you will realize that the negative 12 is out already. The answer is there. Alright, so for this part, I need to combine these two become only something with ln 2. So what I want to do now is I will change 32 ln 
four, I'll make it as two square. Minus eight, long two, minus twelve. Okay, so the two square, the square here, you can actually put it in front, right, in the lawn to make it become a constant in front. So two, when you put it in front, it will become 64. So you have 64 lawn 2 minus 8 lawn 2 minus 12. So if you treat the lawn 2 as an apple, you will see that you have 64 apples minus 8 apples. So 64 apples minus 8 apples, how many apples do you have? You will have 56 apples. So 56 long 2 minus 12, which is the answer that they want you to show. Alright, so again for this example, you can see that I substitute the limit in halfway when I haven't completed the integration by part. Okay, so the other way is you can complete the whole integration by part that only you substitute the limit straight away. Okay, for the whole answer. Okay, so I hope that this video helps you in... Uh, clarifying something. Alright, so I hope that you understand the process clearly. Okay, and then of course if you really want to understand very very well, we have to practice more questions. Alright, so for this video, that means that we already completed um, the chapter 5, the integration part. Alright, so you can try more questions from past year series and see whether you really understand all the questions or not. So we have learned a lot of different techniques, right? To understand which is the best technique to apply, uh, the best way is practice more and gain it, gain the idea from experience. Alright, okay, so I'll stop here for this video.